is one of our two male running champs that we have here at the Cameron Park Zoo. He is turning 36 this year, and he's actually part Borean and Sumatran orangutan, which means he looks a little bit different from our other guys that we have here. So he has longer dreads, um, smaller cheek pads, and uh, more of a, a larger, slender build. So he looks a little bit different, and you can really tell him apart when he's in the yard. One of his favorite things to do is to paint, so we can actually give him a paintbrush and a canvas, and he will uh, paint for you. So it's a very customized painting, um, and a lot of the times he'll paint the back of it too because he just wants to paint even more. So you'll get two paintings in one. Uh, but Mooka is a really special orangutan because he was raised by people for the first 10 years of his life. He was actually a pet. So he is usually seen by himself um, because he doesn't really understand other orangutans' uh, social behaviors. So he has a really good bond and strong bond with his keepers. He will um, vocalize and whistle whenever he sees us. And if he's more comfortable with you, he'll give you his hair, which is a sign of affection. He wants you to braid it and just give him love. Some of his favorite treats are chocolate sauce and Kool-Aid. He will do anything for them. But he's, he's a special boy and he's very, very happy by himself. one of our female orangutans here at Cameron Park Zoo. Um, she is the mother to Razak, who is our youngest, and then she is a mate to KJ, which is one of our males. May is probably our most smart orangutan that we have. Um, she loves interacting with her keepers, and she knows a lot of really cool behaviors. So we do training with them, which can be anything from asking them, anything from their head all the way down to their toes. Uh, May is especially good at our cardio training, so we can ask her to do things like blood pressure, um, blood draw, they can do chest x-rays, and May is super responsive. She loves doing it. She very much loves interacting with her keepers and getting treats. Um, she really likes nuts or anything super sweet. She likes peppermints and chocolate. Um, she is the mother to Razak, so she has a really good duty in raising him. So she is teaching Razak how to be an orangutan. She teaches him how to forage, how to kind of hold his own, how to interact with us as keepers. So she plays an instrumental role in helping to raise Razak. KJ is our other male orangutan. He's 33 years old and he's fully Bornean. Um, some of his identifiable traits are very large cheek pads. He's kind of round and shorter than Muka, our other male, and he's actually the father to our youngest, Razak. Uh, he can be housed with both of our females, Kutai and May. So um, his relationship with both females are pretty different. Kutai, it's very social grooming. They, they're kind of just best buddies. They just get to have a fun, relaxing, enjoyable relationship. And then with, when he's with May and Razak, KJ takes on a more fathering role. So he's actually raising Razak and teaching him how to play fight, how to take care of himself, how to be an, a male orangutan. Because one day Razak will be the size of KJ and have his own family. So he needs to know what to do and how to be a territorial male. One of his favorite things to do is to play sheep monster. So we'll give him sheep and then he'll put them over his head like a ghost and just run around. He is very goofy. He's just a very funny orangutan. He'll, you can see him rolling around. Um, and some of his favorite treats are jello and applesauce. This is Kutai. She's one of our female orangutans here at the Cameron Park Zoo. She is 29 years old and she is housed both as a solo orangutan and with two of our males, KJ and Muka. Um, she is probably our most mischievous orangutan that we have here. She loves to disassemble any toys that we give her. Um, we give her things like boxes and puzzle feeders to try to get her uh, mind active. Orangutans can problem solve to up to about a six-year-old level, so especially her, we try to give them fun enrichment. She really loves things like ranch or sweet treats. She also loves interacting with the public. She loves people watching. Um, she lays in her hammock a lot, especially after getting a good bath in her pool. Kutai can be identified by her lack of cheek pads and her lighter coloration. Um, she has a lot more hair to her than our other female may, um, so she's got quite a good coat and she's a lot lighter than our other girl. So that's how you can identify Kutai out here. Razak is our youngest male orangutan that we have here at the Cameron Park Zoo. He just turned six back in January, so he's definitely still very small. He's about half the size of May and about a third of the size of KJ. May is his mom and KJ is his dad. Um, he won't be as big as KJ, our other male, until he's probably about 12 or 13. That's also when he's gonna get those big cheek pads. He's gonna look like a real orangutan then. 
Um, he'll stay with mom for at least a few more years. May is teaching him how to be an orangutan, so Razak is going to continue to learn. Um, orangutans learn through social learning, so Razak is observing what May and KJ do, um, and then will mimic that on his own. That's how he learns a lot of our training behaviors. Razak is probably our goofiest orangutan. He really loves to somersault and roll around the yard. Um, he likes interacting with guests at the glass. He'll play games with everybody. Um, but most of all, I think he really enjoys annoying his father, KJ. Um, he really loves to play wrestle with KJ. Um, you can find them rolling around and biting each other, um, but it's all very gentle. They're never hurting each other. It's just KJ teaching Razak how to play and how to hold his own um, as Razak grows into a larger male. Some of Razak's favorite things are peas. He really loves peas. It's about the only vegetable that he really loves. Um, he also really loves anything sweet, so chocolate sauce and M&Ms are usually a big hit with him. But Razak is slowly but surely learning to become his own independent male.